Today's scripture reading begins in verse 5 of 2 Chronicles, chapter 20. Then Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem, in the house of the Lord, in front of the new courtyard, and he said, Lord, God of our fathers, are you not God in the heavens? And are you not ruler over all the kingdoms of the nations? Power and might are in your hand, so that no one can stand against you. Did you not, our God, drive out the inhabitants of this land from your people Israel, and give it to the descendants of your friend Abraham forever? They have lived in it, and have built you a sanctuary in it for your name, saying, If disaster comes upon us, the sword, or judgment, or plague, or famine, we will stand before this house and before you, for your name is in this house, and cry out to you in our distress, and you will hear and save us. Now behold, the sons of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, whom you did not allow Israel to invade when they came out of the land of Egypt, for they turned aside from them and did not destroy them. See how they are rewarding us by coming to drive us out from your possession, which you have given us as an inheritance. Our God, will you not judge them? For we are powerless before this great multitude that is coming against us, nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Yesterday, we saw that when facing an intimidating military force, King Jehoshaphat immediately sought the Lord in prayer. But he didn't begin with anxious requests for deliverance. Instead, after focusing attention on God's power over all earthly kingdoms, he recounted the Lord's past faithfulness and mighty acts on behalf of Israel. Jehoshaphat also recalled God's promise to hear and save the nation when they cried out for help. Only then did the king make his request. This prayer is a good pattern for those of us who are Christians. Unfortunately, we at times have a short memory when it comes to the Lord's interventions on our behalf. If that's the case, then later, when we're fearful again, it's hard to remember specific ways God has already proven Himself. This is why Dr. Stanley encourages every believer to keep a journal, a written record of the Lord's faithfulness. During times of helplessness, we want encouragement not just from how God has worked in history or in the world, but from the particular ways He's worked in our own life. When you take time to record specific things that your Heavenly Father has done, you'll gain greater understanding of His loving purposes. He will begin to reveal how He's been working to make your life a beautiful display of His glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray, Amen. Like the video if you believe.